Okay, question four. The curve C has equation y equals x squared minus xx add k, where k is a constant. Uh, the equation x squared minus 6x add k equals 0 has two distinct positive roots. Sketch C on the axes below. So, we know that the quadratic crosses the x-axis twice and in the positive uh, part of the x-axis. Now, what we're also going to need to include on the sketch is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is k. It's always the number at the end of quadratic. So our graph is just going to look something like that, where the only thing that we can really label is the y-intercept, which is k. Cool. Okay, then for part b, our first four mark question, we want to find the range of values of k. Fully justify your answer. So, for there to be two distinct real roots, so for distinct real roots. We know that the discriminant has to be greater than zero. So a discriminant is greater than zero. Now the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so for us, A is 1, B is minus 6, and C is K. So, A is 1, B is minus 6, C is K. Therefore, We know then that minus 6 squared, which is 36, uh, minus 4 times 1 times k, so minus 4k is greater than 0. Now if we add 4k, we get 36 is greater than 4k, and then divide by 4, we get a 9 is greater than k. So, k is less than 9. But, the story doesn't finish there. Remember that we got k is our y-intercept. Now it has to be positive and greater than 0. So, we should now say that because k is a positive y-intercept, k also has to be greater than zero. So our full answer is that k greater than zero, but less than nine. Cool.